Good day everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What is information systems or information technology auditing? Why is it important that companies conduct information systems auditing? And why would you as accounting students need to learn about information systems auditing? In this video, we are going to discuss and try to answer all of those questions. My name is Gunggu. I'm a faculty member of the accounting department of Universitas Gajah Mada and welcome to channel Gunggu Learning. Before we answer the first questions, we need to understand first what is an information systems and what is auditing. And since you already passed the prerequisite course for this course, which is accounting information systems and auditing course, you should already understand both. But just in case that you forgotten about those, you can watch the information systems introduction video up above here. And also you can watch the auditing introduction video up above here. Now that you have watched the two videos, or maybe you remember your accounting information systems and auditing classes, you should be able to understand the definition of information systems auditing which should be defined as a service to assure that the information produced by information systems can achieve its intended objectives. So basically, information systems auditing is a part of assurance services. Now, what kind of objectives is the information produced by information systems wants to achieve? There are many, depending on the types of information systems. For example, high quality information, confidential information, effective and efficient information, and etc. Now that we have known what information systems auditing is, let's answer the second question. Why is it important? The audit is important because the information can affect human behavior, especially decision-making behavior. For example, managers need information that are produced by the information systems to decide on a lot of managerial, strategic, operational-based decisions. Information systems, particularly accounting information systems, can produce financial information that is outlined in the financial reports. And financial reports users, for example investors, will be making their investment decision based on such information. This is why the information produced by information systems are very important and needs to be audited to assure that it can achieve their intended objective. And this also answers the third question, why you need to, or as accounting students, needs to study about information systems auditing. Because it can assure the information, particularly information from the financial reports. Why? Because nowadays, most financial reports are produced using accounting information systems, which is basically a part of information systems. Now we know why it's important, but why it needs to be audited? Now let's see. Well, the information system is a part of several components, which is the input, process, and output components, as we have learned in the accounting information systems. The input component will record transaction data and then process and then produce an output, which is the financial report. Now, the thing about each of these components and each of these processes, they are prone for risks. For example, a risk of errors. Secondly, risk of disasters, for example, computer malfunctions or meltdowns or breakdowns. 
entered risk of fraud, which is basically a deliberate error by humans. Now, these three errors, risk of errors, these three risks, risk of errors, risk of disasters, and risk of frauds are called the inherent risk. There is embedded inside the information systems if a company decided to use information systems. It, uh, information system can uh, produce some errors, it can also have malfunctions, and some people may deliberately do something to the information system to benefit themselves. So these are the inherent risks. Now, in order to minimize or prevent for this inherent risk from happening, managers need to design what we call the internal control yeah, towards the information systems, whether it's for the input, process, or output, or even the data management. For example, for the input, the data that is inputted inside the system should be validated. How to validate it? It can be done manually using batch control or it can be done automatically using a program control. So this means that management has their own efforts to make sure that those inherent risks can be controlled. Now the problem is, even though the inherent risk is being controlled by management, the control procedures or control policies, which is manual control or maybe automatic or program control that is designed by those managements can also have risks. Yeah. Which is basically risks where those controls cannot effectively minimize or prevent the inherent risk from happening. And if the inherent risk cannot be controlled or bypassed by the controlled, this means that the objective of the information produced by information systems will not be achieved. So to sum up, the information that is produced by information system is very important, right? But there are what we call the inherent risks that can prevent or makes the information that is produced by information systems unable to achieve its objective. To control the inherent risk, management usually design what we call the internal control or IT-related internal control. However, there is also another risk where the internal control cannot prevent or minimize the risk from happening. So this means that to make sure that the control is effective enough to prevent or to minimize the inherent risk from happening, we need an assurance service to assure that the internal control of the company, which is IT-related control, can already effectively prevent or minimize the inherent risk from happening so that the information produced by information systems can achieve its intended objective. We can also conclude that the internal control objectives should be similar with the information systems audit objectives. For example, the internal controls objective is to make sure that the data that is inputted in the system is accurate. So the information systems audit objective is to make sure that the internal control that is intended to make sure that the uh, data inputted inside the system is accurate is effective. Yeah. So the control procedures or control activities or the program control is effective. Okay, that was a very brief introduction about information systems auditing. If you need to know more about it, we can discuss it in our synchronized session. I think that's it for me. 
Thank you very much for your attention. I'll be seeing you guys on our next video. Good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.